You are here, I knew it! I just had that feeling. Shame on you for stepping foot into a girl's head uninvited. Wait a minute. Don't give me that a ghost doesn't have feet bit. It's just a figure of speech. Hey, did I say anything? There, that tone! It's that tone of yours that makes me mad! So, did you have something in particular you wanted to say to me? I just thought I'd share some information with you. I'm investigating a case right now. A murder case. And I'm doing it alone. A murder case? All by yourself? Yes, well, that's because the case was closed a long time ago. The culprit is already behind bars, forgotten by the world. So why are you looking into it, then? Because I think the person's innocent, that's why! There's something strange behind the case. Some big mystery. I firmly believe that. So anyway, I finally have my memory back. I'm not at liberty to tell you about the case. But if there's anything else you want to know, I'll try to answer what I can. Lynn is my only lead. I would like to ask her about a few things. You have your life and your memory back now. So let me ask you again. Who shot me tonight? Yeah, I thought that might be the first thing on your mind. What else would it be? There's a good chance I was shot while I was with you, after all. I'm afraid my memory just isn't clear on that part. Not clear? I met with you tonight, and then you fell down right in front of me. I think I remember seeing that part. I'm pretty sure you were shot. Maybe from somewhere far away? So, you didn't see the culprit. I'm sorry. Wish I could be of more help. But I know I wasn't the one who shot you. Your colleagues seem to think you're a suspect, though. I wanted the information you had for me. So why would I shoot you before I got it? Information, huh? I wonder what info I had for her. By the way, I see I have a little roommate. Camilla? How do you know about her? There was a tiny... incident at your apartment a little while ago. An incident? What kind of incident? What happened? Is Camilla alright? She's fine, thanks to a loyal friend, Missile. Although I did have a little trouble bringing him back to life. Oh my... What in the world is going on? Why would anybody want to hurt Camilla and Missile? Apparently the Smurfs have decided to fight back. Gargamel is dead and now you're next. What? I saw them. The people who are calling you their target. So I'm a suspect and a target? Could this night possibly get any worse? It does sound pretty rough. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? Huh? You know what they say, when it rains, it pours. Isn't it time you admitted you need me? Need my powers? I... I'm sorry. I can't cooperate with you. Hmm. Yes, you saved my life tonight. I'm completely grateful for that. But as a detective, I still can't trust you. That's... too bad. So, I had some important information that you wanted, huh? That's right. You called the station yesterday. And you asked to talk to me. You told me you had an important lead on the case I was working on. Important lead, eh? You said you wanted to meet me and talk to me directly. Tonight, at the junkyard. And you fell for it? That's as suspicious as a homeless man giving away free candy. You're the last person I want to hear that from, you know. But I just couldn't let it go, no matter how shady it seemed. That's because I'm running out of time. Hey, that's right. You said something was going down tonight. Does that something have to do with the case you're working on? I'm sorry, but I can't talk about it. Oh boy, but I guess I understand.
So what are you gonna do now? Run, I guess. They'll catch me again if I don't get out of here. And I have to get to the restaurant. I'm worried about Camilla. Oh yeah, what was it? The chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? What about you, Sissel? What are you going to do? I don't know, to tell you the truth. You're my only lead. If you leave... I just realized. You and I are in the same boat. We're both looking for answers tonight, and neither one of us has anybody to help us. That about sums it up. Hey, even if you can't cooperate with me, how about if we just agree to use each other? Huh? It's not a bad idea. You're on. But can I ask you to do a favor for me first? What's that? I need you to sneak into a certain place for me. A prison, to be exact. Prison? That's the place I was calling from the office upstairs. I want you to go find out a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow. Work schedule? For a prisoner? Yes. The prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on a small blackboard in his cell. So, just go check out a certain prisoner's blackboard, huh? Okay. His prisoner number is D99. If you do that for me, I'll cooperate with you. Okay, you're on. Okay, see you later. See ya. But don't die again if you can help it. Looks like I hold the key to the case Lynn is investigating. And she holds the key to solving the mystery of me. So we've started up a strange relationship of cooperation. Lynn gave me an assignment. My task is to go check out tomorrow's work schedule for prison at D99. I'd better get to the prison. Lost memories of self. A forgotten murder case. A dead guy and a detective joined forces to find out the truth behind them both. The detective assigned the dead guy a task. To sneak into the prison and find out a certain prisoner's schedule for tomorrow. What should I care? I don't have a schedule for tomorrow. That's how I'm feeling about it at the moment. Well, I've already killed two people. Might as well add a prison break to my list of felonies. So, how are the preparations coming along? I think they're taking care of them right now. Yeah? Man, I'm not looking forward to this. That kind of surprises me coming from you. I didn't know you thought about such things. By the way, that was me being sarcastic. Just in case you didn't catch that. Two more hours, then it's time. I guess we should just get back to work. Yeah, I guess you're right. And by we, of course I mean me, slacker. The atmosphere sure seems tense. I guess I'll just get back to my work as well. I want you to go find out a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow. Yes. The prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on a small blackboard in his cell. His prisoner number is D99. Alrighty then. How do I get to these cells? I'd better try and get some information here first. What's this? Hey, Bailey. Hmm? What? Try pinning up your memos a little better next time. Let me see this thing. Inspection. Prisoner C-74. Oh, it's almost time for that! I'd better prepare! Hmm. Prisoner C-74, eh? What did that big whale do, anyway? 
You don't know? About the Metro Police Department siege case? Metro who what? C-74 barricaded himself into the Metro Police Department and took siege of the place. He even pointed a huge flamethrower at the chief commissioner. Why the heck did he do all that? That's what the detectives who surrounded him asked, too. What are your demands, they asked. And? Well, the guy looked confused, thought about it for a while, and said, Bring me five servings of curry and rice on the double. Uh, curry and rice? That's it? Unfortunately, no. After he was done eating, he torched the commissioner's office with the flamethrower. Torched it good. Important documents and the commissioner's mustache were destroyed by the flames. What the heck did he do all that for? Because the curry was too spicy, he said. Huh? It was too spicy and I just lost it, he said. D uh, seriously? The case sent shockwaves throughout the country. But it doesn't make any sense. In the first place, how did a huge arm guy make it all the way to the commissioner's office alone? It's a complete mystery. What? Why don't they just ask C-74 himself? Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently, it's all a matter of national secrecy. Huh. Oh, there it goes. Back from whence you came. Ah! Quit throwing my important duty memos away! Nah, it's too <sighs> much fun. Lost my temper a little there. I seriously doubt that's the guy Lynn's looking at. Let's check another <laughs> one. Oh my god, another? Hey, Bailey. Hmm? Yeah, what now? What's the matter? You can't even pin up a memo properly? Let me see this thing. Take prisoner C-38 to the telephone room. Yes, he just made a request to use the phone a little while ago. You already told me that earlier. C-38, eh? What'd that punk do anyway? <gasps> you never heard the story? About the secret rendezvous case? Secret who what? C-38 was a singer in a band. His group was playing a concert that was being broadcast all over the country, live. And right in the middle of their encore, there was a huge incident. A huge incident? What was it, a murder or something? In a way, it was even worse than a murder, because it had to do with national secrets. Huh. National secrets. A rock band. I'm lost. The song they were playing was called Secret Rendezvous. But the lyrics C-38 was singing were completely different from the usual. That's the most Ace Attorney shit I ever heard. Because the new lyrics exposed all of the nation's dark, steamy secrets. Budget misappropriations, foreign economic strategies, illicit dealings, everything! He was caught red-handed in the act of leaking national secrets. Again, seriously? The case sent shockwaves throughout the country! But it doesn't make any sense. In the first place, how would a rock singer know any top secret information? It's a complete mystery! What? Why don't they just ask C-38 himself? Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently, it's all a matter of national secrecy! Hmph. <laughs> Isn't everything? You should feed your trash can more. <laughs> Buster, don't make me tell you again! Stop throwing my memos away! Nope. Ugh, I'm gonna need a nap. Eh, Lynn doesn't seem the kind of girl to be interested in some punk rock band. Oh my god, for real? Hey, Bailey. Hmm? <sighs> yes? For God's sake, Bailey. Let me see this thing. Bring dinner to prisoner D-99. Ah! The chef is preparing it for him right now! Ooh, how fancy. D-99, eh? Even I know about this one. Yeah? Such a sad case. Hard for us, too. He shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member. It's just awful. Why in the world did he do it? 
Why would he do something like that? Of all people... The motive? Everything. It, it's all a complete mystery. It's just ridiculous. It doesn't make sense that he would do anything like that. I don't know the details, but apparently this case is a matter of national secrecy as well. I don't get it. None of it makes any sense. You do know what kind of prison this is, don't you? It's a special prison built just for these kinds of special cases. That D-99. Who knows what he's thinking or hiding behind that beard of his? I don't like any of it. I knew I couldn't take my job seriously without it getting to me. So the prisoner I'm looking for, D-99, was convicted of murder, eh? And he apparently has a beard. Well, done thinking about this one. <laughs> I swear to freaking heck! Stop! Ugh. It's times like these, I think I might start drinking. It's time. Careful, steady. There, it's done. Huh? Ooh, it's Christmas. Hey, Bailey. Hmm? How can I help you? Would you quit sending these memos over here? No. Huh? Not until I figure out how you always know the exact instant a memo starts bawling. Not until I solve that mystery! Hmm. Nope. <gasps> next time! I will find the answer next time! I'm sure I guess you it's will. time to try and find a new path. I swear, one day I'll throw away something you care about. Then you'll be sorry. <laughs> Just the kind of excitement I need to wake me up. Well, I told you it's only for emergencies! Don't play with it! And I told you it wasn't me. You know, I thought this work would be a lot more exciting. Sometimes I don't know which is my real job. Going out on rounds or building houses out of cards. Well, you'd better know! And you ought to know that I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh, you're such a fiend! Alright, I'm finally at the cells. How do you get around? Maybe the store can do something. Alright, press that. Damn it, can't reach it. Wait. I know what to do. Alright, let's try it again. Wait for it to open. Go on it just as it's open. Alright. I'll go to this guitar thing. So this is the thing that was making that horrible noise a second ago. I guess it's a way for this spiky-haired youth to express himself. Sentiments like, I'm hungry, or I'm thirsty, maybe. Something primitive like that, I bet. And here I thought my hair looked ridiculous. Peace out! I'm done! Alright, C-38, back to your cell! Hey, God, man, how about giving me a little space? That crazy walk of yours is dangerous, man. A proper walk for a properly led life. Now let's go. Yo, no lectures, man. I walk my own path, my own way to my own music.
So, I finally made it to the cells. Now to find prisoner D-99 and check out his work schedule for tomorrow. What could Lin possibly want with that information? Damn! I don't think I could take another second in this stinking pit! Looks like Guardman is gone. All this waiting is wiping me out. Hopefully this one will finally do it. Go, go, go! Come on, Sausage Head! So, this is one of those little blackboards Lynn mentioned. Let me just give it a little read. Hmm... Tonight I lost a lot of things. My life, my memory... But there's a certain skill I've apparently lost too. I can't read! I can see that there's some kind of writing on the blackboard, but I have absolutely no idea what it means! If I can't read Prisoner D-99's work schedule for tomorrow, what do I do now? This telephone. It looks like it's an internal line only. It doesn't call outside the prison. So the only places I can go with this telephone, huh? Are the phones within this building that I've already possessed. Hmm. An emergency button. An emergency in a prison. That's gotta be a pretty bad situation. I'll just give it a little try. I'm gonna flush this right here. Go, go, go! with you all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. What do you think of my quirky behavior? Surprised? Huh? Uh, you seemed bored, so I thought I'd wake you up. You can call that my gotcha move. What do you think? If a normal person pulled a move like that, sure, I might be startled. But this is you we're talking about. Uh oh Okay. Every day with this shit. I can't believe it. Yeah! Hey! Yeah, how can you be so insensitive? I was only trying to open up communication between us. I thought... Do your work, Bailey. Heh. <laughs> what a tame. Never thought I'd hear him tell me to get to work. Go! Go! Go!
Same thing here. It looks like this is just an internal phone too. It doesn't call outside. So the only places I can go with this telephone, huh? Are the phones within the building that I've already possessed. What a strange cell. And the prisoner inside it, he seems to be enjoying himself. This is the last cell in this area. So that means that this man humming to himself must be prisoner D-99. According to what the guards said. D-99, eh? Even I know about this one. Yeah? He shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member. What in the world really happened? And why is Lin so concerned about this prisoner? I don't know the answers, and I guess there's no need for me to know. I have only one objective, and that's to find out what this painter's work schedule is for tomorrow. So, the work schedule for tomorrow of Prisoner D-99. The information Lin's looking for should be written on this blackboard. Unfortunately, I've lost the ability to read. But here I am anyway. The least I can do is take a look. Huh? What could this mean? There's nothing written on the board at all! I think something was written on the blackboards of the other prisoners. But this board is as clean and blank as the day it was hung there. So I have the answer Lim was looking for. Tomorrow's work schedule for Prisoner D-99 is... Nothing. Would this information mean anything to her? It's not up to me to know or care. That's how I feel at the moment, anyway. Let's do a project. 